Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts, and today, guys, I'll be reacting to the Ghostbusters official trailer that was released online today. Now, ever since this thing got released online early this morning, I've been seeing the tweets, the Facebook posts coming in, mostly negative. Now, there is some positivity, so there is that. At this current point, the official trailer has over 33,000 likes and over 51,000 dislikes. So, mostly negative. But there is some positive, so we'll see what happens. So that further ado, guys, let's get into it now. The Ghostbusters official trailer. I'm going to go into this trailer with an open mind. I'm not going to look at the negativity and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to go into this thing with an open mind and see what happens. Okay, guys, let's jump into it now. Let's go. Okay. It's a class for apparition. That's okay. She seems peaceful. My name is wow. Karen Gilbert, Doctor of Particle Physics. <laughs> Okay. Our whole lives to studying the paranormal. Now there's sightings all over the city. Whoa. There there's a lot of them. Need our help. Altman, you're a brilliant engineer. Erin, oh. no one's better at quantum physics than you. We can provide a real service. I'm joining the club. You guys are really smart about this science stuff, but I know New York. And I can borrow a car from my uncle. Okay. Someone is creating a device that amplifies hey. paranormal activity. Okay. You might be the only ones who could stop it. Holtzman, come on! The hat is too much, right? Is it the wig or the hat? Um. I don't know. There's a bigger picture at hand here. These ghosts can possess the. Chris Hemsworth. Wait a minute. Um, okay. Okay, um, I see where the negativity is. see why there's a lot of dislikes. More dislikes than likes. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I mean, they're sticking with the same timeline just 30 years later. Because they're like, well, 30 years ago, you know, this happened. So, uh, when I when I first heard about this, I was confused if it was a reboot or if it was a continuation. So, it's a continuation. We just have a new cast. Um, it's all female. Now, there's been a lot of criticism and feedback online about the fact that it's an all-female cast. I don't have an issue with an all-female cast, but the way it felt to me, it didn't feel like it was because it felt right to me personally. It felt like they just cast it all female because it's going to look good for us. If we do an all female, right? Cause if we do all male, it's just like, we're discontinuing the same thing. If we switch it up, do all female will look good. So that aspect, I'm not really feeling, but then again, you know, who's to say this movie is going to be good or not. I mean, based off the trailer, I mean, it's, it's not looking too good. The ghost, I mean, they look cool. Um, but that first gag with the ghost just vomiting. Or the apparition, whatever. Just vomits. I mean, it didn't feel funny. The other jokes in the trailer didn't feel like a joke. It just felt like it was just like, let's go, let's go. Oh, okay, I'll let you say that. Like, what? Then the part where... I honestly felt at one point when they show 
that it took over Melissa Carthy's body, right? When she was possessed, in quotes. I'm like, holy shit, did they just reveal that in the fucking trailer? Like, did they just actually reveal something that's going to happen? And then immediately, we're done with it. Immediately, it's like, in the trailer, it's gone. She gets one smack in the face and it's gone. And then, then she smacks her again. I'm like, okay, so it's not really revealed. It's just like, oh yeah, this is going to happen. It's not going to really matter because it's going to go away once with one hit. Okay? I don't know. The jokes did not hit. I think the visually interesting but I'm not really feeling the cast I'm not really feeling this idea I'm not really I'm not impressed I guess that's what I should say but then again look I'm just some guy sitting in my room watching a video and talking to a, an iPhone right but I gotta be honest I'm not really feeling it I'm personally not a fan of Melissa McCarthy Kristen Wiig Kate, Kate McKinnon and Leslie Jones Chris Hemsworth is in the trailer for five seconds Five seconds. Is it going to have a big role? I got no idea. But, I don't know. There's been rumors that some of the original cast might make a cameo appearance. I mean, it would make sense now because it's in the same continuity timeline-wise. But, I mean, come on. I don't know. Here's the thing. If this movie makes money opening weekend, it's going to get a sequel. Then again, it could be good. I don't know, guys. How do you feel about this trailer? I'm very curious to know what you guys think. Because, I'm just one person. If the majority of you dislike the video and say I love the trailer then there you go then I know that my opinion is the minority but I, I just don't know how I feel about it it's it's not because it's an all-female cast it's not it I just the con the concept of what they're trying to do the trailer how it was set up I'm not feeling the trailer I'm not feeling it I'm not I'm I personally now just because I don't like a cast doesn't mean I'm gonna hate the movie but the way it was presented to me the cast some of the visuals are okay, but the majority of it, the jokes didn't hit for the most part, or at all. The cast didn't really impress me with what they're portraying with this two-minute trailer. So, for me, not feeling it. So, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching my reaction and my review to the Ghostbusters official trailer. Not really feeling it. I'm definitely still intrigued about the film. I'm still kind of interested. I I'm... I'm wanting I'm wondering how the second trailer is going to go. So we'll see what that happens. So thank you guys for watching my video. Thank you so much. I'm done rambling. Done talking. <laughs> Peace out, guys.